that magma sometimes rises to the surface as a result of volcanic activity. Our world is truly hanging by a thread. Magnificent mountains explode as a result of the volcanic pressure beneath them. There is no way of avoiding such a disaster. The magnificent structures, the splendid cities that people built so proudly will collapse in an instant. An earthquake takes place approximately every two minutes. But most of these are very light, and we do not even feel them. Yet if God so wished, there could be tremors so powerful as to affect the whole world, put an end to life on it, and destroy everything. In fact, the Earth is entirely suited to earthquakes, with its fault lines and the gaps in the tectonic layers. People generally imagine that technological advances and the lessons learned from experience can prevent such disasters. Whereas all the efforts to avoid them are sometimes in vain. One of the most recent examples of this was the violent earthquake in the Japanese city of Kobe in 1995. The Japanese had built the city with quake-resistant technology, but the shock tore it apart as if it had been made of paper. The Japanese had spent billions of dollars on research into a system that would give prior warning of earthquakes, but were unable to predict this one, which came from an unexpected direction. The buildings they said could stand up to the most powerful earthquake collapsed like paper houses. Earthquakes can sometimes lead to other unexpected disasters. An earthquake at the bottom of the ocean can give rise to the giant tidal waves known as tsunami. These waves can destroy whole coastal areas. and their destructive effects sometimes reach unimaginable levels of violence. They have an average height of 30 meters. And they can occur with no warning.
Hundreds of thousands of people have lost their lives because of these waves during the course of history. Such a wave can obliterate a whole coastal town. The images you are about to see were taken by a camera in the garage of a hotel built by the edge of the sea. Shortly afterwards, a second wave hits. 